Hey you guys, Linwood here. Today I am going to show you how to do the emblem knot. So stay tuned and thumbs up if you like it. If you haven't gotten a chance to check out my last side tutorial, you can do so by clicking right here. So let me go ahead and move a bit closer so you can get a good view. Okay, so this is the emblem knot, which the name uh, was suggested by one of my followers, and I've gotten to wear it on a lot of my ties now. I take votes from my followers. So if you follow me on Instagram, uh, who sees this on Instagram or on Facebook, facebook.com backslash who sees this official, uh, you can go ahead and vote on the names of the ties that I come out with, and uh, that way you can get some input in the videos. And of course, as always, let me know your opinion in the comment bar below. Uh, and for any extra links, information, things like that, always make sure to check the description box. Let's go ahead and take this baby down and get started. Okay, so just to get started, this is my right side, this is my left side. The, uh, the tip of my blade is sitting right at my belt line, and I'm just going to go ahead and start as always and do my power crease and pull to the center. We're going to go ahead and bring my tail in right on over the top of the blade. Wrap it around the back like so and bring it back around to the front. This is going to be very much like the corsage knot. Okay, from there we're going to wrap around the front, bring it up and through the middle on the back. Alright, and from there I'm just going to fold my ends together. And we're going to make sure our smooth side is facing outward. Bring it around the back. Take it all the way down to the tail end of your tie right here. And we're just going to feed it directly through the middle here. And back underneath your collar there. So from here, here we are. We're going to go ahead and feed all the way through there. Uh, notice I stop my finger in this loop here because basically now I'm going to take the tail in and place it through that loop. So from here I'm just going to go ahead and bring it right on through. Let me keep this baby folded up. Hold on. There we go. And we're coming up and around the back. Now on this part you can do it as tight or as loose as you want to. I'm going to go ahead and tighten it up just a little bit. Okay, now I want my smooth sides to face out, so from here I'm just going to take it and turn it some, so my smooth side is facing out, and we're coming over the top of this portion here, underneath this one. So, over, under. Bring it right on through. My tail end, most of you would probably think to put it over the top of that one. We're actually going to slide under this one here too. So let me put my thumb through there so you can kind of see. And we're just sliding the tail end right through that loop also. Okay. And from there we're just going to basically tuck it here in the back. And go ahead and pull that collar down and adjust it to the center and there you have it let me grab my jacket real quick all right you know it's nothing without your your jacket and stuff making it look complete go ahead and toss this baby on and in case you guys have been wondering what all that extra noise is in the background pitter patter and stuff that's actually my daughter uh, in the background she's in the room with me today so Hold on just a sec. Come here, Zan. She's still in pajamas and everything. Say hi, baby. Hi. <laughs> so I hope you guys like it. If you do, let me know in the comment bar below. If you don't like it, let me know in the comment bar below. And until next time, you guys, take care and God bless. You're fancy now. You want to say bye? Bye. <laughs> See you guys later.